Alpena, Michigan is um, complicated. It's uh, a blue collar town. It's a very Midwestern town. It's very, I mean, how long do you want this to go on? Alpena, Michigan is complicated and not easily defined in a word or two. It's uh, Midwestern where everyone that you pass by will wave at you, but it's also kind of behind the times. It doesn't invest a lot in the, the city around it to make it grow, but it's also very welcoming. The golf in Alpena is my favorite part about returning home. The golf group that I play with is mechanics and construction workers. I just didn't appreciate how much I love the courses. The city course is the course that was in my backyard. It's where I grew up and I've played a thousand times and it brings me back, especially with my dad being ill, like a lot of the memories that I have playing with my dad. So I really just love the course. It's uh, very quirky and short and all the things you'd expect from a muni, but it's just the sentimental value outweighs any of the the downside of the course. He started playing golf, what, honey? Well, probably... About seven years old, wasn't he? I don't know if he was that young, but he had a unique situation. The third hole is right behind there, and Dad and I used to go out the garage, head to the fourth tee, finish on the third, come back, and we played for a chocolate sundae. We walked out the back door of our home, usually uh, at just before dusk, and we had a, a tournament, uh, he and I, and I'd give him strokes, and uh, we played for uh, Sunday. About the time I was maybe 13, I was probably a better golfer than you, but I didn't beat you till I was almost 15, because Dad would remind me any time I was ahead that I was ahead. <laughs> he finally beat me. I, I never let my kids beat me. Much to my chagrin. No, Howard would Howard would be the caddy that like most of the time good, but like in an important part. Like today on 13, let's use an example in the practice round, All right. right? Let's go back. And like as the ball was going into the shit, he'd be like, "Oh, Ryan," and he'd be like, "We had such a good round going. How could you go ruin it? You yeah. threw it all away." But I'm like, "Dad, I don't need it. Like I know I hit it in the shit, you know." Wait. Dad and I had some brawls out there, like any good father-son combo. Mm. I, I was easy. Yeah, you would say you would say things like, "Oh, you can't three putt there," and I would say things like, "What the fuck do you think I wanted to three putt there? Did you think that I was trying to three putt there?" <laughs> you know. Are you ready yet? Ping pong is my game, kid. Get after it, kids! All right. Here we go. Husqvarna no blower for sale. He covered up the traces with spoken lines. He said the sunshine was burning him down. Yet in the way of this for sale. What do you think? You want the Wilson? I can't believe you forgot the fucking rangefinder. I feel like I should be fired. Trouble from once she Play well. 
Good morning, good morning. Nice to see you. Eric Peterson, uh, Eric, how's the game? It's all right. I've been uh, lazy, not practicing, but... Did you go fishing last night? I, no, I was working at the restaurant last night. Oh, you night, were? So. Till what time? Like nine. Oh, all right. So. You won the city open, haven't you? Yeah, once. Yeah. Do you have like a goal you want to shoot today or no? Yeah, like 70 to 72 and then get back to my home course tomorrow and hopefully shoot the same. Yeah, this is uh, the easier of the two courses by far. Yep. It's going to so, play smart, hit fairways here. How you want to win the city open? Yeah. You fucking show up late. Okay. Grab an eight iron. Hit yep. four balls and flip flops. Put your shoes on. Set the fucking course record. Just like that. <laughs> Still drunk. <laughs> His foot slipped. Don't even put your golf shoes on. Yes. Flip flops. Are you going to go to the golf shoes or are you staying in flip flops? Debatable. Okay. Who takes a beaver pelt out of ground that's 95% hard as a fucking rock? Just curious. Benny well, started drinking at 445 today. And that's how you nut a four iron when you can't even see it. Benny, you want a drink? Yes, sir. <laughs> if you want to get where you got to go, get where you got to be. If you want to get where you got to go, get where you got to be. But if you want to get real low, get real low, then you got to get with me. Well, I was walking through the desert on a desolate foot, just looking for a place to play. She was crawling through the city with an ear to scratch I save myself for a rainy day And so I took a little time to reassess my words And this is what I have to say Oh my <laughs> If you wanna get away you got to go Sod farm to the left of the tee. Yep. Oh, mother. Oh, mother. Oh, this is my old home, and I mean, I don't even, not even sure what to say about it. I grew up without a television. I was six years old. We were watching the Stanley Cup Finals and our TV started on fire. We had a TV in the basement of the house and it blew up during the Stanley Cup playoffs. The fire extinguisher was on the top floor, so two floors up. And my dad, who doesn't handle any sort of, uh, even back then, any sort of emergency grate, uh, the, it started to smoke and spark and stuff. And so Howard ran up there, put the fire out, and we never got a new TV. And we just said, as parents, we said, well, let's go a week without a TV. And then we said, well, let's go a month without TV. And we went 29 years without a TV. And so none of his sports, I mean, very few, unless he was at someone else's house or his grandparents' house, he, he never watched them, he didn't see them, and he had to depend on the Detroit Free Press to give him scores and things like that. The reason I, I've played golf my whole life is because I really didn't have anything else to do. Yeah, the old. Yeah, the old man. Bill, how, Look many, at him. how many annual club championships do you own? Four or five down there, and four or five up there, two or three out lost like woods. So, yeah, I mean, just three different, four or five. How many, how many steel was you know? 14, 14. No, that was, I was 19. 19. 19. Yeah. Wow. Hey, what else does he do? Write articles. What does he write articles? That is perfect for you. Pe Bye, people who will beat the shit out of him. She does love him.
this is starting to live with electric bread. I'm here fucking petting this horse and my arm hits a oh, I'm like, God damn. I'd like to welcome you to the final round of the 55th annual Alpena City Open. This is the 924 tee time. First on the tee today, Ryan French. We decided to move back to Alpena as my dad, who has dementia, has just gotten worse and worse. To see my parents waiting, I mean, they watch me tee off and my dad obviously can't follow me anymore, can't walk. And it just made me kind of appreciate what they did for me when I was a kid. They very rarely missed a shot of any tournament. Today, they live 35, 40 minutes away from here. Got up to watch me hit, basically, they got to watch me hit four shots. And so, I try my best to be half full with what we're going through with my dad. Uh, but it makes me miss him too, you know? Uh, I was very lucky to have him on the bag for the 12 or 15 times I've played in this before. Totally worth it. Totally. What I've loved about Alpina is that it's welcomed me back. We played with a mechanic today, car salesman, a guy who cooks, a pool installer. Like, a lot of these guys don't have social media, so to be welcomed back despite kind of being an outsider from a job perspective has been super refreshing. It's restored my, my view that golf can be fun. Thank you. When you're on the train, you don't get off the train. 